Welcome to my channel. Today is another day for music. Boy, do I love doing this. I really do. I just enjoy the daylights out of it. I'll tell you what. I decided to do something special today. And the reason why I decided to do it was because of what a commenter wrote. I'm going to put it up on the screen. I don't know if you can see it or not, so I'm going to read it to you. Uh, let's see. i got to... I got to blow this up so I can read it. Um, Tracy McKinney wrote, You should do, period. Let God work by his brother, Ricky Trawick. Pretty cryptic note. I wasn't quite sure what he was talking about. I had to look at what he was commenting on, which was a Randy Travis song. And then I realized, okay, he must have a brother named Randy Trad, or excuse me, Trace, what's his name? Uh, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Trawick. Threw me off because, you know, Randy Travis, Trawick, I wasn't sure. I knew Randy had, uh, I knew he had brothers, or at least one brother, but I had no idea that his brother could sing. And so... I looked up Randy Trawick on the web and I found the song that he mentioned, Let God Work, and I thought, well, this is really cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feature this as a bonus video. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now, I, I haven't really done a lot of research on Randy. I don't know if he has a music career or if he's just an amateur singer. And it did spur some thoughts in me. I thought, you know, how... Life takes these strange turns, you know. Here's his brother, who's one of the most popular and, and successful country singers of all time. And I've never even heard of this guy. Didn't know his name, didn't know who he was, didn't know he could sing. And yet here we are, and he's singing a song to his brother. And it's the title of the song is Let God Work. And I'm going to show it to you now, but... and. If Randy doesn't have a, a YouTube channel that I could find, uh, I'll keep looking, but I didn't see one, so I can't put links in there. But I just thought, you know, especially if you're a Randy Travis fan, that this might bless you to hear this. So, thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos, and thank you for supporting the artists that I feature. I really do appreciate it. So this is Randy Travis's brother, Ricky Trawick, singing Let God Work, and it says in parentheses, Song for Randy. <laughs> songs for some suit and ties they said boy you just ought to leave your new palace was shared with catfish and grease and a microphone under some lights when your princess came she changed your name and you gave us the storms of life now brother be still Yeah. 
God Now the legends are all disappearing Music grows, seems to have a deaf ear Like Job, you are being tested But look around, all your friends are here All your friends are here Look around Look around Brother, be still We all know the words Just trust in God's will Wasn't that cool? That was Rusty's personal message to Randy. I found out when I did a little bit of research that I did do that they started out as the Treywick brothers. And then somehow Randy uh, went out on his own and launched his career and became what he is today. And uh, it's just interesting how life works, you know. Uh, Ricky's voice is, is decent. I mean, it's a, it's a good voice for country western. Not, you know, not the... the, the uh, not the quality of Randy Travis's voice, which is interesting because they're brothers, but uh, but a decent voice for country western, and he obviously uh, plays well and sings well. But I just thought it was so sweet what he did for his brother, and uh, I thought I'd share it with you because it was special to me. Um, I got another one to do uh, that I picked out. This was a uh, song that I think, I'm pretty sure Ricky wrote this song for Randy. Uh, but this next song that I'm going to do for you is uh, a tribute from Ricky to his brother Randy. And of course, these were done after his stroke. And, you know, I want to, I really want to talk about this for just a minute. Um, back in the days of Jesus Christ, miracles were being performed left and right. People were raised from the dead. People were healed from blindness, uh, leprosy, lots of stuff. It was amazing what was going on. And they say that we don't see those anymore, but that's not true. There's still miracles going on. They're just not talked about. The, the press doesn't bring them up. The press doesn't tell you about them. And people don't talk about it. And, and lots of people have lost faith in God and don't believe in God anymore. They think God doesn't even exist. And so uh, miracles seem somehow to be like a thing of the past. But they still occur. And there is no doubt in my mind that under the right circumstances... Randy could be completely healed from his stroke. Uh, I don't know what those right circumstances are. I, I'm not God. And I can't answer the question, why hasn't he healed Randy? And why doesn't he heal you? Uh, 
I, I, I was taught that uh, in order to heal, you have to believe, you have to have faith. And I think that's true to some extent, but I think there's more to it than that. And I'm not sure what that is. I really don't know. Uh, it's an area of my beliefs that I have, I'm still unsettled about. But I do know that God heals, and I do know that God is still in the business of, of creating miracles, performing miracles, and that he can still raise people from the dead, and he can still cure people of diseases, no matter what. The, I mean, he's the creator. <laughs> he knows how everything works. He designed it. So he ought to be able to fix it if he wants to. And I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying God doesn't want to fix anything. I think God wants to fix every person on earth. So there's an element there, a belief that's involved that causes us to fall short. And I think it's because we don't, we don't have enough faith. We, 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 we're constantly doubting. We're constantly questioning. We're constantly wondering, is he really, is he really, would he really, you know, can I, can I, I want to be healed so bad, but I don't know if I can. And the problem is, as long as you're questioning it, it's not going to happen. So my prayer for you would be, if there's something in your life that you need healing from, I pray that God will strengthen your belief to the point that you get healed, that you have your miracle, and that you are delivered from whatever it is that you're struggling with. That would be my prayer for you today. This is the Vietnam era vet out.